Fox News alert now. The U.S. and U.K. carrying out retaliatory strikes overnight in Yemen, hitting at least 60 Houthi targets on 16 different sites. The New York Times says there's been at least five casualties. They did knock out air defense systems, destroying weapons facilities and launch sites. The military action comes in response to 27 attacks launched by Iranian-backed rebels shipping in the Red Sea. The Houthis say their goal is to stop any ships from reaching Israel. Just take a quick look. This is where the ships have been coming through. This is where they've been deterred. Then they've been escorted. On Tuesday, there was 26 separate one-way drone attack drones sent at uh, our forces in the region. We knocked them all down. Roughly to knock one of those drones down, it cost about $2 million. We're going to run out of rockets to knock them out of the sky. We had to do something. And these are some of the major targets of where we hit. And evidently, the Houthis say they're not deterred. According to some experts, they feel invigorated by the attention we're giving them. Meanwhile, all of this comes as our defense secretary still in the hospital following complications we hear from treatment for prostate cancer. Alexandria Hoff joins us now from Washington. Alex. Hi, Brian. A senior military official indicated that the last straw, so to speak, was Tuesday when the Houthis launched their largest attack so far. That's when President Biden called his national security team and directed Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to carry out a response, meaning that Secretary Austin signed off on the retaliatory strikes from Walter Reed Military Hospital, where his stay had initially been kept secret from the president, top defense officials, and Congress. Austin does remain hospitalized and provides this about yesterday's strikes by the U.S., U.K., and partners, saying, quote, the coalition action sends a clear message to the Houthis that they will bear further costs if they do not end their illegal attacks. The United States maintains its right to self-defense, and if necessary, we will take follow-on actions to protect U.S. forces. Now, last night, a small protest did take place outside of the White House. Demonstrators convinced that strikes in Yemen will only exacerbate the situation in Gaza. Several dozen expressing the same protested in New York's Times Square as well yesterday. And President Biden, he's also facing blowback from a few members of his own party. Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna stated, quote, the president needs to come to Congress before launching a strike against the Houthis in Yemen and involving us in another Middle East conflict. I will stand up for that regardless of whether a Democrat or Republican is in the White House. So there are a few Republicans who agree with that, but in large part, the president has earned rare praise from GOP lawmakers who see the strikes as a good but also overdue step towards deterrence. Brian. Alex, they're not asking for permission. They just wanted to be briefed. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, that they wanted notification that this was going to happen. Um, since it was something that was decided on Tuesday, uh, there, sir, there have been questions for many years about uh, the president's authority in, in signing off on these kind of strikes. Um, but, yeah, we see year after year questions about that remain. Right. And then they put a lid on it instead of bringing yeah. reporters in to maybe brief them about what's going on. Yeah. Alex, thanks so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.